in a world obsessed with technology, where hours feel like minutes, and minutes feel like seconds, time speeds by faster than speedy fingers pressing against the glass of the newest smartphone. In a world obsessed with living fast and making every moment count and not looking back, it's important to slow down, to look at the beauty around us, watch the sun slowly set over canyon walls, watch the cold water rush over slime-covered rocks, watch the mountains erupting like volcanoes, creating a jagged horizon, watch the world. So often, people and nature are considered as separate entities, but humans are a part of nature, just like a weed on a highway median and a cactus in Slickhorn Canyon. Nature is life, and nature is not confined by the boundaries drawn around state parks. Nature is all around us, living, breathing, beside us. Nature is not untrammeled by man or the most pristine of all land. Nature is everything. I walked into the wilderness and experienced something, something greater than I could have ever imagined. Surrounded by sweat-covered, smiling faces, I found peace of mind. My birthday, so I'm feeling pretty awesome. Heck yeah. Oh, you know, just having the best day ever. I've learned through Cyrus the Great, Paracelsus, William Wordsworth, Henry David Thoreau that nature is important. When times were simple, Cyrus built gardens for relaxation. When times were simple, Paracelsus preached that healing comes from nature, not from the physician. But that was then, and now it's different. We get our daily fix from TV comics and communicate through the newest Apple update. In the 21st century, we struggle with obesity, anxiety, and heart disease. And what are the remedies? Pills, fad diets, and surgeries. But what if the fastest recovery depended only on trees. People who can see trees recover faster, perform better, act nicer. People who can see trees are less depressed, less stressed, and have less regrets. When we were younger, we'd go out and play, but now only 10% of American teens spend time outside every day. Whether cold or warm, sunny or stormy, we should be outside longer, letting our minds wander, but not everyone has this opportunity to ponder. <laughs> People work all day earning minimum pay, and what can we say to make them step outside and play? Nothing. There's privilege and opportunity, freedom and right, but in our society, opportunity doesn't come without a fight. So rather than blame, let's get in the game. Let's start the movement, a get outside revolution. Bring your friends on hikes, put your kids on bikes, get on your hands and knees and plant a bunch of trees because if the world is more green and the air is more clean, then maybe people will be less mean and progress can be seen.